Hi, this uh, video that uh, you're watching here is about a project that I did for a, a company. It was my biggest project yet. Um, you see here a series of photos um, for repairing a generator. I made sure I marked everything up with numbers so I knew exactly where every cable um, and fixing went back. Um, because it was uh, a fairly big project, I didn't want to make a mistake. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, it basically goes through the dismantlation of the machine and sending the actual alternator that had gone wrong off to be rewound and after six weeks it came back and, uh, and then I refitted it. So there is moving footage to make it a little bit more interesting, I hope you enjoy. There are also other parts of the machine that had to be repaired, such as the jockey wheel had to be replaced, and also mug guards had to be repaired, and some other small repairs, uh, which you will see later on in the video. The large round part with the coils on it, which is the fill coil, was sent away and took six weeks to be rewound and come back ready for assembly. What you see here is the engine unit and the alternator being removed from the casing and uh, they're now going to be put up on the bench so that I can proceed to remove the outer casing of the alternator, the fill coils, the bit I told you about earlier. Um, that was then sent off as I said. It took about six weeks to come back. This was a bit of a tricky situation because uh, there's quite a bit of weight there and uh, it was slightly unbalanced so uh, my colleague there was just helping me line it up to put it on the bench ready to work on it at this point it was taking quite a bit of alignment to get it in the right place ready to put on the bench um, because obviously uh, we wanted it on the bench stable and uh, I didn't want any uh, health and safety issues so it was important that it was put into the right place um, ready to work on and also we were going to strap it to the bench to make sure it didn't move
to the tins. It all went very smoothly. Now all I've got to do is wire it all up and put it all back in. Now it's a case of refitting the engine mountings and the exhaust pipe and then get on to the rewiring. Now if my tagging's right, it should be all in the right position. If they're not, this is going to be a very short show. Three face, 400 volts. So I've got to get it right. We're talking a lot of volts here. anything for obvious reasons. What we do is we basically touch one side of the battery and then you have to flash across this terminal here. We're in port phase one. Oh, sorry, phase one, phase two, phase three, and it should all register about 410 volts. So that's phase two, phase three, and phase one. Excellent. Marvellous stuff.
And there's a safety thing that's got gone there and all. What? Uh, see that line? Oh yes. That's uh, gone there and all. Where's it go? Goes on here. On there? Yep. Yeah, bolts in there. Do a final test on her now. Make sure she takes a good heavy load without any problems. Get rid of the tools. And then we'll see if she rock and rolls.